Hey guys, it's Brandon and we're here at the EB Games home office in Canada and we have the rare opportunity to show you guys what exactly goes on in the studio and what it looks like, how everything's set up in our day-to-day -day work. We do have to be a little quiet because I have a meeting going on to the left of me and Tia's got the recording light on right now. So she's probably in there busy working with her headphones on. Might be easy to startle her. So without further ado, let's take a look, see what's going on inside. We have our welcome home mat, which is absolutely fantastic. Very cheeky. We just like to keep it super simple, keep it secret, keep it safe. Now in here we have, actually, I don't think Tia has noticed yet that I've walked in because she's got her headphones on and I'm just gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna try and scare her to the best of our ability while she's working because that's how you have a productive day. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Since you know we're super busy and swamped with everything coming up okay. to do a quick studio tour. Oh okay. Yeah. Well hello my name is Tia. Nice to meet you internet. <laughs> Tia is absolutely fantastic, and we always have a lot of fun making videos and working here. A little, you know, brief education on our studio, how everything looks, how everything's working, and... How about a desk tour? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do you want to start with your lovely station? Well, do you see how intense this is? It literally looks like an arcade is going on at our it's, desk. It's honestly a proven science that the more RGB you have, the better you are as a gamer, which is why we have so much, so much RGB going on right now. We've got Tia's desk here. We've got our lovely RGB computer lighting up there, as well as our RGB mice, our RGB LED strips are going on. We have our regular editorial calendars for the month posted above both of our workstations. And of course, we have all of our collectibles. You know, your side is a little bit more privy to you. One Piece, Avatar The Last Airbender, which you're absolutely obsessed with. Yeah. Your Attack on Titan androids, some more One Piece figures as well. And moving on to my stuff, we have the Dota 2 figures. I have the pop set there, which is one of my favorite games before I got into another game I'm not really going to mention. Anchorman's my favorite movie. I love Cthulhu. Dark Phoenix can't really go wrong with one of the most powerful mutants in the world. Above, Brandon has his clown, which is very confusing. Like Because I hate clowns. He hates clowns so you know. much. And... The big red. This is Brandon's workstation. Our lovely uh, makeshift Christmas tree, my glasses. Yes. You like our palm tree? We got, this is from EB Games. Our budget was $10, so. And we got some DBZ-ish going on. Yep, so we have Goku and Vegeta, as well as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. I don't want to take the time to actually enunciate all of their full titles, because we'll be here for the next six hours and, and three pillar episodes. And what is this? What is this little thing? That's Hermione. Okay. That's a little good. Hermione pop That's a little vinyl. thing called Easily Startled. Yes. Nine times out of ten, we usually end up getting scared because we have headphones yep. or we're working on a project or doing something, and I decided to make a sign for it. Then we have Mona. Who is Mona? Please introduce us to this lovely human being of the office. Mona was drawn by one of the marketing team, Miriam. She's absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, an amazing artist. So this so is good. the new social media mascot. Her name is Mona, and she is the best, and we love her. We need to, like, fill up this whiteboard with art. Let us know in the comments below for what we should put on this wall. I want to put a giraffe on there. And then we've got some posters of Aquaman. Yes. Jason and... Samosa has never looked so good. Jason Samosa. Jason Samosa. Jason Samosa. <laughs> Jason Samosa. Jason Samosa. I'm, I'm forever calling Jason Momoa Jason Samosa for the rest of my life. Six one way, half a dozen the other. <laughs> Let's move on to the fun part of the studio. On the other side of this curtain is magic. That is our little revolving platform for product showcasing. Yes. It's also big enough for a human to stand on. But now we are entering our primary set. So this is where nine times out of 10 we'll be doing unboxing videos, uh, hosting interviews, one-on-one -on -one conversations, anything that really goes on that involves more than one person. This is the set we use. So we have all of our decorative pillows, our assorted collectibles. We kind of like to keep it diversified, keep everything, you know, completely open. Our gaming controller pillows are there as well. The eat, sleep, game, repeat pillow. The Atari cheat code pillows there as well, which is awesome. It's actually one of my favorite pillows. This is also where we eat lunch from time to time in case we ever, you know, 
feeling a little antisocial, we wanna just get comfy. We're the only ones who get a you know comfy couch in our office. And we have a nice Elite Series 2 controller there as well. That was courtesy of Microsoft. So that's kind of where the principle for our unboxings come from. Normally our partners, whether it's Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, whoever, sends us some product, we like to do a little showcase for it and check out all the cool stuff. So this is our primary shelf for showcasing all of our collectibles. So yeah, we have our Borderlands Handsome Jack Collection Steelbook. We have the Assassin's Creed Odyssey helmet from the pre-order bonus. The Borderlands 3 mask that they were giving away. It's the Psycho Mask, Dishonored 2, Corvo's Mask. A bunch of steelbooks from assorted games there. I see ReCore, Metal Gear Solid 5, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, The Elder Scrolls Online. I think Mirror's Edge Catalyst is there as well. And we have Molag Balls from The Elder Scrolls Online. That was the very first collector's edition they released for the first edition before any of the expansions came out. We have the Century Bot from Fallout 4 slash Fallout 76. The Snake's Arm from Metal Gear Solid 5. Hello. And we have Ron and Hermione because I like Harry Potter and we're gonna have Harry Potter all over the place. We have uh, Ruby, oh, what? I put them back wrong. Oh no, Hagrid's in Hermione's box and it, it, oh, oh no. Oh, oh well. I'm, I'm a terrible person for that. We have our Sour Patch Kids. Yes, they're so cute. Sour Patch is my favorite. We also have our Power Rangers figures hanging out there. And at the very bottom shelf, we have not one, but two WWE Championship title belts. Very cool. That wraps up our tour of the studio. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to actually set up all these scenes and stuff like that. We've always wanted to actually showcase the office and, and how we work in the environment that we're in so everyone can kind of get an idea of how everything looks and how everything works on a day-to-day -day basis and it was really awesome to actually get the opportunity to do that today. Adios. Adios. Ciao. Deuces. Bye. Arigato.